wondering how everyone's holding up in your family. How you guys doing? We're staying strong. Uh, we're so sad and heartbroken, but we're also filled with pride. And uh, when things get tough, you know, we think about Nicholas and how he would want us to be strong. What would you say to the folks at Cape Cod and beyond who have lined the streets and come here today? It's been quite an outpouring. It sure has. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And this is one of the reasons I think Nick did what he did, uh, was to bring people together. You know, he cared deeply about people and uh, protecting people, especially the innocent and the weak, he really did. And uh, to see everybody coming together, rich and poor and weak and strong. And uh, I saw it yesterday during our procession and today. I'm just so proud. I'm the proudest, but also the saddest man in the world. How do you try to sort this out as a dad? Reasons why it happened and the whole thing, it must be just swirling and, and, and so tough. Absolutely. Uh, you know, out of 10,000 Marines that are over there, you know, why was it that his truck got hit? You know, uh, yeah, that's in my mind all the time. But, you know, being a Marine Corps family, many Marines have come over my house and they told me why. And I understand it. And, uh, there's a big reason for it. And I'm just so proud that he, he they didn't get him. He fought hard, he, he fought to live. They did their best to save him. And uh, I'm very proud. Now we're back here at DY High School where you were an officer for many years. I believe you were an officer here when Nicholas was born? Yes, yeah, it, great point, you know, uh, to come back here where I was the first school resource officer. Nicholas was born, you know, in 1988 when I had started in 1987. So this is like home. And then to see Nicholas graduate from here and walk across that gym floor to get his uh, recognition for joining the Marine Corps. They recognized him and the others that joined in that year. I, I'll never forget that moment. And now here we are uh, on the same gym floor. It's it's. Uh, very powerful. Folks were saying that back when Nicholas was born, you were the proudest dad in the world, and I guess that holds true today. It sure does, and thank God uh, for Nicholas and my wife Lisa and my son Alex and my daughters Elizabeth and Ashlyn, who are our twins, and they've all, Nick, Alex graduated from DUI just like Nicholas, and the twins are our students here, so this is a horrific tragedy, believe me. Any parent does not want this. I don't want to be a gold star father. But we're looking at the big picture. And someday I just can't wait to hug my son again. <laughs>